Hi fellow DIYers! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this no sew wallet which is made with basic shapes on Design Space. The Design Space link is in the description box below and it's ready to cut. I use a combination of hot glue and E6000 to glue them together. So let's get started! Open your Design Space app, click these three lines, and then click Home, and then type in DIY by Sess and then enter. And then scroll down a little bit, and under Community Members, you'll find DIY by Sess. Click that, and then click this project, and then click Edit a Copy. So this is ready to go. We can just click Make it, and then click on Mat, and then click Continue. Now I have three different mats because I'm going to use three different colors of faux leather. So I'm going to click continue and then click faux leather paper thin and I always adjust the pressure to more. So this is the faux leather tote bag that I got from Dollar Tree. I love using this faux leather tote bag for my projects. If you've seen my previous tutorial videos, I've made two different style of name key chains, no sew purse, luggage tag, name key wristlets, bows, a chapstick holder, card coin holders, handbag, and cable holders. I put the links of all tutorials that I mentioned in the description box below. So this piece is going to be the outside part of the wallet, so make sure that this piece is facing down the mat. So I'm going to use these snap buttons. I got this from Amazon. I put the link in the description box below. So grab the cap of your snap button. Attach the socket to the cap part of the button. Now grab your tool. The cap or the flat part of the button goes to this side of the tool.
Apply a combination of hot glue and E6000 portion by portion.
And there you have it! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. All feedback is welcome and any feedback is good feedback. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. See you on the next episode of DIY by Sess. Thanks for watching!